Hey friends, so today we are going to design a perspective grid like this one and this is um, inspiration from Vercel website and this image is from Moby. It's a great website to find inspiration from the real world so definitely check it out. Uh, okay, this is a finished example and we are going to do with this starter. So uh, we could grab this out and then um, let's have a look. Essentially we need something that's uh, in this part part and uh, yeah let's start it uh, hit R and then drag a rectangle a square that is 120 by 120 we outfill and add stroke so a center stroke then we are going to come and get open me menu and find pattern hero so right here and we are going to be uh, I think 40 and 40 looks good to me so yeah, we don't need paddings, repeating, no, it doesn't matter with shuffle or not shuffle, then let's create this pattern. So that's our pattern. Then let's frame it. So command option G to frame this section. Then we are going to keep the content and we are going to crop this content into uh, our screen size. So it's 1440 around and this is 900. So you can hold command and drag the line to crop and let's see 960. So let's lock this there and we put this right here make sure they are aligned by the button so at this phase you could decide uh, how large is your uh, square it looks uh, fine to me but i think i could go a little bit uh, larger so let's do that hold on shift so we can uh, grow uh, on both sides so i think this, this looks good then we click on v to change back to the selection tool now we're going to need a lot wider than this grid because that when you transform for 3D, you can see the height is shrinking and the width is also shrinking. But the height is uh, shrinking more, so I'm going to need like two times wide and three times tall. So let's do uh, 2880 for the wide and then 2700 for the tall. So this is the one that we're going to use. And next thing is transform it so now we are going to select the frame and open up the perspective tool keep plugging so here it is and we are in the 3d tab which is what we want and um, we can start rotate and see uh, which one that we are going for so we're going to rotate x i think this is the only one that we need you can play with other option if you want your grid pattern to be a bit uh, interesting so i'm going to go for this one and I'm going to place the image. So this is imagery that I created. So as you can see, the height is a lot uh, smaller and the width a bit uh, also shrinking a bit. So that's why we need um, a larger one. Uh, okay, now we're going to crop this image. You can hold the command and then start dragging. You made this uh, cropped image. This looks nice. Then we cut it and paste it in the starter uh, let's unlock this one and we're going to paste in the background layer and then we are aligned on the button and um, so this one is a wide uh, circle that's um, giving the focus of the text so this grid pattern should be beneath this uh, white circle so it will look like this so this is looks uh, very uh, similar to this one already so let's um, use the Band mode. Let's do color burn. So it looks uh, almost done, but I think this line is a bit too strong. So let's do a little bit of opacity to soften it up. Maybe 40, 40. Let's do 40. So I guess that's it for our example here. So that's how you create perspective grid. Um, yeah, let me know if you've got any question. See you.